Hey guys, it's Shamsa and welcome back to my little kitchen. Now today's recipe that I've got for you is for beef bihari kebabs. These kebabs are thin strips of beef which are marinated in a spicy homemade masala and typically you'd cook them over a hot barbecue and coal but today to make it easy for everyone I'm going to be sharing the recipe on how to make beef bihari kebabs on a hob in a pan. So let me run through what we need to make beef bihari kebabs and then we'll start cooking. So the ingredients you're going to need is 500 grams of beef here which is half a kg. Now you can get the butcher to cut this but I prefer to cut this at home because I know how thick of a pieces I'm cutting. So all I did was I sliced the pieces into one inch slices like that and then I used some grease proof paper which I placed on top of the beef slices and then I used a meat masher and I used the flat side and I sort of like bashed the meat so it's nice and thin. <clears throat> now you also need one medium onion which I finely sliced. I've got a third of a cup of regular cooking oil. Traditionally this recipe uses mustard oil but my children prefer normal cooking oil because I think they find it a bit too strong. If you've got mustard oil you can use that, that's, that's up to you. I've got a fourth of a cup of Greek yogurt here. Again you want a yogurt that doesn't use have much water in it and I have the following spices. I've got a teaspoon of coriander seeds, cumin seeds, poppy seeds. I've got four green cardamom pods. I've got three bay leaves and I've got these um, round chilies here. Uh, I've got five of those and I've got one and a half teaspoons of salt. I've got one teaspoon of garam masala and paprika powder. I've got half a teaspoon of chili powder here and I've got a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg and mace and I've got one and a half teaspoons of um, garlic here and ginger and I've got raw papaya here which I blitzed and pureed and I've got three ice cubes worth of here which is a tablespoon's worth here. Now raw papaya basically comes like this. You can find it in any Asian supermarket. If you can't find it in an Asian supermarket then any oriental supermarket will sell this. All you want to do is wash it, slice it in half, scoop the inside um, out uh, the the seeds and then with the skin on just cut it into small pieces pop it into your blitzing machine and blitz it add a little bit of water and make sure you get it into a nice sort of like puree paste and then you can just portion it off into your ice cubes and you can freeze them you also need more cooking oil when we come to fry our kebabs and we also need um, some skewers. I'm using 18 centimeter skewers here. So let's start cooking. Right, okay, we're going to start off by dry frying our whole spices. So I've got my pan here on heat, which is nice and hot. I have the temperature with, on a seven, which is a medium to high heat setting for me. And I'm just going to add them in. And we're going to dry roast them for about one to two minutes until we can sort of like smell the really nice sort of like aroma coming off from them. So they're nicely roasted. Just keep moving the spices around. You don't want them to sit in one place because they'll burn. That's looking good. So I'm just going to turn the hob off and I'm just going to transfer these back into the plate again and just let them sort of like cool down a little and then we're going to grind them to a powder. So just pop them back. So using the same pan, I'm going to add my oil straight in and just let that heat up. My heat setting is on a seven. Okay, so the oil is now nice and hot and I'm gonna take my onions and we're gonna fry these for about eight to 10 minutes until they're really nice and golden brown in color. And I'll show you how they look once they're done. Right, okay, my onions are really nicely browned and you can see this is the color that we're looking for. So I'm just gonna turn my hob off now and take them off the heat and I'm gonna let them cool down slightly and again, what we're gonna do is once they've cooled down, we're gonna pop them into our blender and we're gonna blitz them to a fine paste. And I'll show you how it looks once it's done. Right, okay, so I've blitzed up my whole spices that I've roasted. And into this, I'm just gonna add the remaining spices. So pop them in. And then just give them one more whiz in the blender. So all of those ingredients that we've just added blend up really nicely and just set that aside and that is your masala for your beef bihari. Right okay guys we're going to marinate our meat now and I've blitzed my onions you can see they're a really nice sort of like paste puree and what we're going to do is we're just going to add that into a, a large bowl like 
like that. And then I'm going to add the yogurt. The ginger, the garlic, and the masala that we made. So all that goes in. And we're just going to mix this really nicely, first of all. It's incredible that the aroma from the masala, the marinade that we've made. Oh. So I've just defrosted my papaya cubes here and I'm going to add them in. Again, just make sure you combine them really nicely into that mixture. Perfect. And then I'm just going to add the meat in one by one and just make sure it's coated in this wonderful, wonderful masala mix. Okay, so that's nicely marinated and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take some cling film and I'm just going to cover it with that. And I'm going to allow it to sit and marinate for two hours minimum. Now that allows the meat to tenderize because of the, the raw papaya that we added in. And if you are actually doing this the night before, which you can do, marinate it just like this, leave out the papaya paste and when you come to the next day, take it out of the fridge and obviously add your papaya paste into it and then let it come down to room temperature for two hours. So again, two hours minimum sort of like marination with the papaya paste. So I'll see you guys back in two hours when we actually fry these kebabs. Right, okay guys, my beef has had two hours of marination here and now we're gonna skewer these up. So just remove the cling film and that is looking great. So I'm going to get a skewer and I'm going to skewer this straight in like that. Some of them might need two skewers. It all depends on the size of the, um, the beef strips. So like that. And then again, just Use that and just skewer it in. Just You might need two pieces of beef on each skewer that you're working with. So that's how it's going to be, like that. So like that. And then pop them onto a plate. And I'm going to do all of these and I'll show you how they look once they're done. Right, okay guys, my beef bihari kebabs are all skewered up, so they're like this. So if you can see, two skewers holding the kebabs in, and this, some of them have one piece of meat on there. All depends on the size of the, uh, the beef strips. Some of them have two on there, so that one's got two on there, like that, look. And we're going to start frying these, so I'll show you how to do that. Right guys, I have my crepe pan here which I'm using to cook the, um, the kebabs in because it's shallow and it allow me, allows me to move the, uh, the kebabs around uh, once we need to flip them over. So this is nice and hot now. Um, I've had it on heat for about a minute or so and it's on full power. So I'm just going to turn it down to a seven, which is a medium to high heat setting for me. And I'm going to add around one to two tablespoons of oil in here and just let that heat up. Perfect. And now I'm going to add the kebabs in and just fit as many as you can in. Um, I think maybe three will fit in here and we're going to fry them for about three to four minutes on each side until they've got a nice sort of like brown colour to them, like a charred sort of light colour. So straight in with that. Ah. 
and I'll show you guys how they look once that side's done and then we'll flip them over. Right, okay guys, the kebabs have had three to four minutes on that side and you can see now that the colour has started to change slightly here and we're going to flip this over now. Look at that, look at that beautiful colour there and that's what we're looking for. Whoa, look at that. And we're just going to cook this side again for three to four minutes and then we'll take them out. Right, okay guys, let's just check the other side now. That's looking perfect as well. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to gently just remove the kebabs and pop them into a plate and just fry the remaining kebabs and then I'll show you how they look. Before I actually fry the other kebabs, I'm actually going to wipe the pan down and then just add a little bit more oil into it and just fry it just like that. Okay guys, my beef bihari kebabs are all fried up. I'm going to plate these wonderful kebabs up and show you guys exactly how they are. So there you have it guys, my amazing beef bihari kebabs and I have just plated them up on this fantastic platter. I've served it with naan breads, fresh salad, mint chutney and that is it, perfect. And I'm now going to tuck into this and tell you guys exactly how it is. Oh, look at that. Just look at that kebab. So juicy. Mmm. That special marination with all those spices that we did is perfect. Right amount of um, salt. Chili is perfect. Absolutely wonderful recipe there for you guys to try at home. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you found it useful and helpful, then please do give it a big thumbs up. I'll appreciate it. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Turn your bells on to never miss amazing videos like this ever again. And I'll catch you next week with a new video. Till then, take care and happy eating.